Hi guys, my name is Cheryl and this is Pinaya Broad. Today, I'm going to discuss the only two seasons in the Philippines. Well, I live in Seattle, USA, and I've mentioned that in my previous videos that the, well, at least where I'm from, we have four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and then winter. The thing is, in the Philippines, we really don't have that. <laughs> We only have two. There's the rainy season and the dry season. The thing is, uh, since we are, you know, a little above the equator, uh, it's relatively a lot hot. It's not surprising that there are days that we reach 100 some degrees and the humidity is very high. So, uh, in result of that, we have tropical weather. Um, you know, needless to say, that's what you would expect from countries that is that are pretty much situated near the equator so yeah and i'm here in seattle that's a little way above the equator and of course it's uh not really you know surprising if you know that we have four seasons here and we actually experience snow so back to the discussion the only two seasons in the philippines rainy season so pretty much, the Philippines experiences uh, typhoons between April, as early as April, until about September, maybe even early October. So as much as the foreigners have influenced our culture, um, especially when it comes to June brides, that still falls under our rainy season. So as much as it is here in the U.S., um, especially in an area that like mine that's pretty much summer here in the u.s june so or you know late spring so people you know it's ideal for people to actually get married during that time here but in the philippines if you're hoping to be a june bride there you really hope really should pray or hope that your wedding will not be interrupted by a typhoon <laughs> and if you should ask me when would be the best time to visit the Philippines, I would believe the best time would be a little after the rainy season. Uh, the weather is not as humid or not as hot anymore and it's, it's not as rainy anymore. Um, in my opinion, it falls between about late, late September until Christmas season, um, especially for people who have been living in uh, colder climates, uh, it, the temperature is a lot more tolerable and it's pretty much a nice vacation away from the really cold fall or winter weather in your country. So yeah, and that's about it. Oh, during the summer, it like I said, it goes about 100 degrees and during uh, about winter time in the US or in Europe, it goes about as low as uh, about 15 degrees in the morning, that's in Celsius, until about maybe 30 degrees in the afternoon. But yes, it's a lot more colder here during uh, late September until December. So, like I said in my last video, Filipinos love Christmas. Don't be surprised if you go here as early as October, September, and you'll start hearing Christmas songs in the radio, or uh, seeing Christmas decorations early out already. As much as you want to, you know, when you left your country, you'll probably be experiencing uh, still the fall decorations or maybe winter uh, Halloween decorations. And yet, in the Philippines, there's already Christmas. Filipinos have one of the longest Christmas seasons in the world. So... You might just want to ride along with that or expect that when you get there. Anyway, so I guess that's about it. If there's any questions, clarifications, and any reactions to anything you have, I have said, uh, let me know in the comments below. Especially, how about in your country or at least where you're staying right now? Um, when does Christmas season start for you guys? Because, like I said, in the Philippines, it really does start early. So yeah, um, please like this video and uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. And
Thank you very much for watching and mabuhay!